In this video, I'm going to show you how you could curve text like this, like this, like this, and like this. Very, very cool. So the first thing you want to know is you could go to Logo Maker and you could go over to the text and you could click Curve Text and it's just going to give you this nice curved text that you could type over. Uh, I'm just going to type, this is a test. Um, and you could go to your styles and you could change the letter spacing, the word spacing, the font size, uh, the starting position, and so on. So let's get started with this. Um, once you do this, you probably want to add something behind it. Now you could either pick one of our templates like this, and you could start using this and start uh, changing all of these, the colors and so on here, or you could go ahead and get like a badge or something like that. We have like a bunch of badges that you could use. And let's just use like maybe this one right here. And you could put the text within it or outside of it. So like with this one, you probably want to put it within it. Um, so let's click on this text here. I'm going to make it white and then I'm going to move the layer up. That's always a good thing. Move it up to where you want and I'm going to move it inside of this. And then I'm going to kind of resize it to where I want it to be. I'm going to highlight all this so I can move all of that. There you go. And, and then just start playing with that. The other thing you want to probably know is how do you get it so it's at the bottom right there? Well, all you have to do is just click on the options. Let's duplicate this and then click on the styles here and you want to click flip and that's going to flip it around and then I'm going to flip it so it's right at the bottom. So I'm going to rotate that right there. And there you have it right there. It may look smaller and you want to just go here and I'm going to click on it top. So it like really just matches that whole flow right there. So, but let's just say you have um, something else that says uh, yoga and fitness or something like this. And you're like, wait a minute, it's not the same. It looks different. Or you just have maybe just it says yoga or something like that. And you want to make sure it has the same feel. So you could change the font just a little bit, depending on what you want to do, the word spacing and letter spacing. So you just use this to your benefit. And also you could reposition it as well. You also notice the circle. So you want to kind of line up the circle with the other one as much as you can just so it's right there centered and aligned, just like that. Um, another thing I do as a trick uh, is I'll add in other things like maybe a shape here in the middle and I'll make it probably a better color, you know, and then I'll add in something else. Let's say I want a dog or something like that within this and I'll put that in here as well. And then it'll start looking like a badge and then you gotta wanna center these things here but always use your eye to see if it's centered and always ch uh, click on this layer area so you can really uh, get it right. And then I'm just gonna add like maybe a star and just really play with this so you could really make this look good. So let's say I want a star like on this side here. And of course you could use one of our templates to do this, um, and, but you could really get creative here. And I did this what <laughs> in a minute, you know, and it looks pretty good here. Uh, I may want to just change around this a little bit more to, you know, another color. But again, this is really, really cool. When you start using the templates, it gets even uh, better, you know. So that's how, how to do this. Just make sure you click on the layer. Sometimes there's layers above this and you want to click on like the bottom layer. You just want to click on that layer move it up sometimes just so you're not clicking on the back layer as well. I uh, hope this video really helps you uh, make your designs and your logos look really, really awesome. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you shortly.